Hi guys, my name is Anup and today I am going to discuss what is the zip compression in a web page. So before understanding the actual topic, let's take an real life example and let's understand how compression works in our life. So suppose it's you and you request few files from your friends. There are few images, there are few softwares, there are few files, there's a bunch of stuff and total size of this stuff is around 2 GB. So what your friend do, your friend compress those files. Now the compressed size is 800 MB and sent to. But why he did like this? Let's evaluate the effect of the compression. So suppose you have a speed of 100 Mbps, means in one second you can transfer 100 MB at a time. Now you take 20 seconds to transfer complete file from your system to your pen drive. Now if you are doing the same compression, you can transfer the same file in 8 seconds, means you are saving 12 second in taking the file from your friend's system to your pen drive. Now same things applies to internet. You open a website, it's like our official website www.nextday.com and you enter this URL in the, your browser. Browser send request to server like you requested to your friend. Now browser as a browser means you as a client requesting to the server and now home page of this website which is a web page and the size of web page is 145 now what server does server make compression of that and convert it into 32 kb and delivers to you now in a similar way as we have taken example of the normal files we understand the effect of the speed so suppose you have a speed of 50 kbps of your internet and the page size is 145 kb means approximately you are going to take 2 to 2.5 seconds or approximately 3 seconds I have taken the downside like 2.5 seconds you are taking download complete page and if you are doing the zip compression you can do it in less than 1 second now you are saving your 1.5 second of your web page and it says 1 second delay can reduce 7% of conversion and here we are saving more than 1 second around 1.5 second means we can easily increase 7% of conversion using ZZ method. Like in local system, we have lots of extensions or lots of methods to compress. Some compression methods have advantages, some methods have disadvantages like ZIP, 7Z, RAR and lots of methods. Few compression methods are good and few are not. So in web world, we have two types of major compression. One is the ZZIP which is we are using from years. Second is the Broccoli. Broccoli has been dollared by Google and it's new one. The compression level is better than ZZ, but we will cover that topic in, in upcoming videos. I hope you got better understanding what a ZZ compression is. So I am repeating once again. ZZ is a compression method used at server side to compress web pages. It helps to achieve better page speed. So let's move on a uh, test that I was conducted. So we had taken 4GB RAM to virtual CPU. 25 GB of SSD hard drive and 2 DB of bandwidth with a user speed of 100 kbps. So that was the size of a normal uncompressed page when we had done the compression. So we achieved the result like this. So if you talk about the total size, we have reduced around half of that actual page, even less than half. And according to the page loading speed, in the uncompressed page size, we got 5 seconds and in the compressed one we got 2 seconds. So here we are saving 3 seconds of time which is quite good. If you want to check you by yourself in the network if your website has ZZ compression enabled or not. I will give you live example after this but let first understand. So I have highlighted the first circle which is 28 KB transferred over network and resource size is 149 KB means what is happening when I am requesting to www.nextgi.com server giving me a compressed version of the same page which is 28 KB and when browser is decompressing that particular page so browser is getting that particular resource in 149 KB so this is the difference let's take a live example of our another website so this is called the developer tool you can right click and by doing inspect element you can open this then you have to select the network tab then you have to reload the page Whatever the resources your website needs will be here and you have to go at the top and click on this. You go in response headers, then you will get content encoding is ZZ and the content length is around 16 KB. 
now once you close this you you will hover on the size part so you will see 16.2 kb transferred over the network and the resource size is 93.2 kb means the actual size of the page is 93.2 kb but the compressed version of the same page is 16.2 kb using the zzip compression so i hope you got a better understanding why we should use zzip compression in our website or web pages so if you want to learn how to set up the zzip compression and audit that you can get a video from the description if something left or you confused about please leave in the comment section we will surely respond to your comments and thanks for your time we are next gen innovators a website designing and development company based in delhi we just focus on the three things user interface user experience and the speed of the website so these three things are very important as per current trend so if you have any requirement where we can help with you please feel free to connect with us see you in the next video